Tell me about today, Matt. Today? Well, today has just been a tumultuous roller coaster of emotions and activities, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to take this opportunity to give Peggy a big shout out for not losing her marbles right now. I'm panicking inside. Okay. Well, Peg, the vacation has taken a drastic turn. It definitely has. Yeah. Not where we anticipated uh, ending up. No, Jack's, Jack's boatyard. boatyard. Welcome to Sailing Floating Freedom. I'm Matt. This is Peggy, our son Will, and our doggo keeper. Join us as we break free from the everyday routine and explore the beautiful waters of coastal British Columbia. In our last video, we were leaving Tenedos Bay, heading to Purdue Haven, when we suffered a critical failure. Okay, so status update. Oh, sea tow is on the way, uh, probably about half hour out. Um, I tried to see if I could get lucky and pull the shaft further in and to the coupler on the end of the transmission, but it's, I think it maxes out and hits the... Uh, the little support coming from the hull that braces with the cutlass bearing, whatever that proper term is. So that's not going to work. So uh, dollars to donuts, we're looking at a new shaft, but what do you do? So um, we're getting pulled to Lund, which is shut down today, the boat yard, because it's Sunday. So I'll have to message with them and then hopefully uh, first thing tomorrow, um, we can coordinate with them and hopefully they can squeeze us in and help us out because we're uh, kind of under a time constraint and want to continue on with our vacation. But I guess these things happen, right? Another boat buck. A boat buck, a specialized unit of currency equal to 1,000 standard dollars, also known as a boat unit. So I'll show you uh, the current state here of uh, the prop shaft. So I took the coupling off and attached it to the sheared off portion of the shaft, just to maybe as an anchor so it doesn't slip through the dripless and out the back. There's a couple zinks on the shaft, so that really can't happen. And I also took some twine and tied the the prop and bound it up just so it doesn't spin when we're getting towed and then potentially uh, move around and grind something. So she should be yeah, captive now. And hopefully that'll be okay. I'll just keep an eye on it as we're getting towed. Uh, morale's a little bit low right now on SV Floating Freedom. We are really going, hoping to go to Purdue Haven today and um, go explore that, but you gotta be flexible. So off to back to Lund where we didn't get to try chips and or fish and chips last time. The restaurant shut down, so off we go. Right, Peg? Mer. has arrived. So after Sito had us hooked up, we pulled off the anchor and headed back to Lund. Okay, leaving Tenedos. Tenedos? Tenedos! Bay for the second time. Tenidos. Thank goodness for Sito. Thank you, Sito. I'm glad I got the membership. Yeah, me too. It took a few hours for Sito to get us back to Lund, and then we were met by our buddy boaters on Shadow Nose. We're back in Lund. It's our first rafting experience. And this We've had a couple be, firsts today. This is going to be <laughs> most amateur rafting. <laughs> this is the first one that I've actually tied lines. Usually my family takes over and literally uh, ties my stuff. I so think we're good. Yeah. We're good. Well, we're, just, we we're not going anywhere. No. We'll get some wake and stuff. So mostly it's fenders, I think. That are the yeah. Good. Beer. Beer is necessary. After today, <laughs> wait till the whiskey comes up. 
Tell me about today, Matt. So yeah, just uh, went to take off from the anchorage and like, wow, it seems really sluggish. I wonder why that is. Because I cheered the prop shaft off and mm -hmm. got to try out the C2 membership for mm -hmm. the first time. Money oh, yeah. well paid. Mm -hmm. Would have been about 500 bucks, I think. And then tomorrow we're going over that way, hopefully to get hauled out. Or maybe for them to come measure in order because there's maybe no point in pulling us out until right yeah oh we might not get pulled out tomorrow but i'm hoping it's quick and then maybe we can salvage some of this trip yeah hey marcia i was looking at the copelands when we came through scoping out places to anchor i've got uh i got a spot my sister sent me her gps location of yeah. where they were and it's the perfect little spot okay i wonder if it's the same one i was looking at is there a little right beach the yeah. yeah 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 and there was nobody in there when we went by the one boat was in there when we went oh it was just tucked in. oh was it but yeah okay but Nice. Do you need a prop shaft, prop shaft to get there? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, can tow us, right? Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. us wrap like this. Yeah. You got a tent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with some time to kill, we spent the next couple days exploring the rest of Lund, eating at the delicious restaurants, and exploring the beaches. A couple days later, it was a quick tow over to Jack's boatyard to get things started. Once arriving, our guardian angel Jerry met us at the dock and helped us get set up. Yeah, we're just doing a uh, 180 for right now. Um, there's a loose fender. Okay. Make... The crew ran as a well-oiled machine and had us out of the water in no time. By the time the jacks were set and the slings were off, Duncan damn near had the prop shaft out. Hey Matt, what you got? A new shaft? So what unfortunate sequence of events led to this moment? So here is a picture of our new drive shaft, the portion that attaches to the transmission. Here you see a notch referred to as a keyway. The key sits inside the notch. The shaft and key will then mate with the engine coupler and be captive in the transmission. To our surprise, we found out our broken shaft had no key or keyway. The previous shaft must have been modified, 
When installed, had no key or keyway, so the set screw was drilled deep inside of it, which compromised the strength. So with the new shaft freshly machined, it was time to install. We opted also to change out the cutlass bearing, so she was tight. Here we go, so <laughs> at the boatyard, Peg got to do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, picked myself up a little memento of this experience. <laughs> yeah. Jack's Boatyard. Let's see I, how she fits. Yeah, I can't say enough about these people, honestly. Like, if you're ever out here around Lund and you need any boat work done, I would definitely highly recommend them. Yeah, that's good. Looks great. Yeah. We did tell them that they should get some t-shirts made that says, <laughs> I spent my vacation at Jack's. <laughs> you know, I'm sure this has happened to more people than just us. So. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> With everything bolted back together, the only thing left to do was check the alignment once it got dunked. Boatyard goes on forever. Heavy machinery, drilling equipment. Oh, there's Balthazar. There's Balthazar. While chatting with the boatyard manager, she mentioned there was a boat named Balthazar that was from Quebec. They did an epic sail from Gaspé, Quebec, all the way through the Arctic Ocean, over to Vancouver, and then ended up in Lund. So, the part is in. Uh, our boy Duncan saved the day, and Jerry, who manages the boat yard, picked up the part this morning. So we got it installed. We are gonna get dunked or splashed tomorrow at about eight o'clock. They were just incredibly helpful and accommodating. Like pulling off the Christmas miracle, getting yeah. this in and out and so quickly. Not only did they get the part this morning, but then they got someone to run it to town immediately. Like have it machined. Eight, have it machined and brought it back and mm -hmm. got it installed today. Yeah. And I guess uh, Duncan, the local boat mechanic, also just got his second COVID shot, so he feels like hell. Yeah. Hasn't slept. Poor guy. And just powering through, getting everything done. And then another boat comes in and they're taking on water. Yeah. And I, apparently they had a, a similar issue that we had. Yeah, yeah. Almost uncanny. Yeah. that their prop shaft had failed too with a keyway problem and uh, um, started pissing water inside the boat. So they had to do an emergency lift and uh, Duncan was able to get them back up and running. Yeah. So we highly recommend Jack's Boatyard. If yeah. you are in the Lund area and yeah. you need anything done I, to your boat. I would say turn it into a sailing vacation work party. Yeah. Like even, like, I don't know, the place is freaking huge. Like, we're just down here on the water, and we have a beautiful view of the ocean, but it goes up this road behind us, and they'll use a monster boat lift. Right there. This yellow guy here. So the blue one will lift you out of the water. This yellow monster carries the boats up the hill, and they have, like, a massive yard up behind me where there's got to be, like, a hundred boats. But luckily, Floating Freedom has got ocean traffic. Yeah. But we had a weird vacation, like, <laughs> so, so weird. These last 10 days of starting our sailing vacation, getting trapped in the boat yard and getting splashed again tomorrow. It seems like a month, but it's been only 10 days. So weird. 
Mm. All right, so we're in the boatyard, Jack's boatyard. We're having a gourmet <laughs> dinner. <laughs> we sure are. Boat Whoa, that's a lot of mustard. <laughs> These are our boatyard Betty dogs. Look at our view. Yeah, nicest boatyard I've ever been in by far. The staff are incredible here. Yeah, really they are. Yeah. They've been awesome. Yeah. She even offered to go in and get groceries for us tomorrow yeah. when she goes into town. Amazing. Amazing. Good morning, just having our morning coffee as the boat behind us is getting yarded out. I can almost reach over and touch it. <laughs> uh, probably not typical of most boat yards. But uh, with any luck, this will be us in a few hours. Or lots of luck. <laughs> in a few hours. Or a Christmas miracle and lots of luck. Once we are back in the water, we check the alignment of the new shaft, then head it off to meet our buddy boat. Our next stop on our desolation trip will be the Copeland Islands. Well, thanks for watching, gang. Give us a like and please comment. Cheers.